Yep. Hey, it's Luke Combs. This is my Bobby Bones show, Ask Anything Chat. My new CD, This One's For You, came out today. Thanks to Bobby Bones for having me on to talk about it. Ellie from Dun Dundas, I'm guessing. Who did the artwork for the CD cover? Anybody? Ashley Bothwell. Ashley Bothwell. Thank you, Ashley. It looks wonderful. Um, it was kind of like a collaborative idea, I guess, but but Ashley did all the uh, all the groundwork and the legwork on that, so we appreciate it. Beth from Nashville, how long do you keep a baseball cap before you lose it or throw it away? That long. That's how. That's how long I keep that. Hat. No, uh, I keep a baseball hat until until I lose it. Um, I don't know. Pro probably good. Sometimes I throw them out on the stage or whatever. Um, Kurt from Oklahoma City, how's it feel knowing you're playing Bonnaroo? It's pretty cool. I've heard about Bonnaroo uh, a ton. I had a ton of friends that have been, and uh, I I've never been there, so I'm excited to see uh, to see all the interesting folks that Bonnaroo has to offer. Carly from Crooksville, what's your most embarrassing on stage moment? Um, I've almost fallen a couple of times, I think. Uh, my guitar player Tyler has come out with his pants unzipped a couple times, so that's keep that in there. By the way, hog check. That's why we do. That's why we do hog checks. That's a fact. Oh, that's a different video. Different video. But he can edit it together. Katie from Mount Airy, are you going to let all this attention you receive now change you and how you make music? Well, Katie, I'm going to try not to, um, but. If it does, by all means, let me know. Um, but I hope not, no. Um, try to be pretty cool, calm, and collected through it all, I guess. Um, Lena from Asheville. If you could go on tour with anyone in the music industry, who would you choose? Eric Church. You already knew the answer to that, Lena. Teresa from Hamilton. If you could have your picture on a billboard in Times Square, who would be in the picture with you? Depends on what the billboard's for. Maybe a movie with The Rock, me and The Rock on a billboard, or Mark Wahlberg or something. I mean, I, I'm envisioning this going kind of the way The Rock's career went. Rock and bod, starts out in one industry, ends up making blockbuster action flicks. I think we tag team one, dude. That's what I'm saying. Got that world heavyweight belt, it's time to take the tag team belt, okay? So Rock, Dwayne, I know you're listening. So you come out and let's make a movie together. Action movie where we beat up Mark Wahlberg. It's very serious, by the way. Sophie from North York. When you finally got signed to a record company, Sony, in the house today, did you do anything special to celebrate? Well, I signed my record deal from a fax machine in an RV in Montana. So there wasn't many resources to party with. We played a show that night, so that was cool. Um, but no, no, we didn't really do anything out of, the, out of the blue, I guess. Just hung out, probably, and watched TV and stuff, you know. August from Grove City. I'm a huge Panthers fan, right on. Do you get back to Charlotte to see games? I haven't recently. Uh, me and my dad went maybe two years ago to a game. Um, I, I pretty much get to listen to the games on the radio. It's essentially what it breaks down to, um, which I do enjoy, by the way. But no, maybe you'll see me at a Panthers game this year. Who knows?